blatantly lied about us being engaged because, well, I thought that's what you were planning anyway. So I had to hold on to some hope that you were coming back. Seeing you in that hospital bed, the thought of being without you, the baby being without the dad. I understand. It will. We'll be okay. But your health isn't yet. You should be resting. Yeah, well, a little sandwich before my shift won't hurt, will it? Yeah, it sounds good. I'll catch you up. Right, I'll see you at the dock. Joel! Hey, yeah. I thought you were with your mum. Listen, I... I'm really worried about her. Yeah. She OK, eh? Joel, she saw you this close to dying. And anything she did, she just did out of fear and love. Love? After loads of really, really rubbish blokes, she's finally found a good one. Having this baby is a really big deal for her, Joel. Yeah. It is for me too. I'll go and find her. Joel. No. Jolene. No. Juliet. No. Listen, we don't know if it's definitely going to be a girl yet, but it's definitely not going to be a smear. <laughs> Hi, guys. It's the Valentine's pub quiz later, and I'm hosting, so obviously it'll be a cut above. Oh, sorry, mate. I'm off to work, and this one's going home to rest. Yeah. Hey, have you heard about Rafe? What about that Dilly one as well? It's just what the village needs, another psychopathic Blake. <laughs> right, I'm off. OK. Yeah. See you in a bit. Right, listen, we need to get a ringer for Atkins team. You saying I want all the answers? Yeah, yeah, because last time you thought Hitchcock was an STI. But we've got Cleo the brain box, and we've got Abe too coming, haven't we? Right? Yeah, right. Do you know what? I think about it, partner quiz. Probably do me some good. Yeah. Better clear these. It's been ages, eh? <coughs> right, all you trib dibs. You better get your drinks in because the Valentine's quiz is about to start. Come on, Cleo, get a shift on. Yeah, we need your brain. And our drinks. Mm -hmm. uh, the drinks are on us. You were a hero in that crash. Guess you'll sort it out. Oh, cheers. Uh, honestly, just an orange juice, please. Right, remember, guys, first That's prize it. is a fine dining romantic Valentine's dinner for two. Well, not that fine. I'll be here at the dog. <laughs> but still. Tony's promised me he'll push the board out for the lucky winners. So here goes. Question number one. I'm just going to go to the toilet. OK. How many bones are there in the human body? Hmm? To repeat, question one. How many bones are there in the human body? <laughs> what are we doing here? I don't know. <laughs> I guess I just wanted to talk to you. That's what you're doing back here in Chester. Because I'm sure at the crash, you said you came back for me. Well, did you? So then when we found out Nana was Paula, obviously we all thought we'd got to come see her. So you're staying there? I think so. And your new boyfriend too? Yeah. Where did you meet? London. After I moved back from India. I wasn't looking for a relationship or anything. This not happened. Well, at least you make it sound easy. Yeah, guess it was. Not like for us. Why was it always so hard? I don't know. We had so many battles, didn't we? With the drugs, me being a priest. Your eating disorder? I don't know. Battling for us always came last, I suppose. We almost made it, though, didn't we? Yeah. But even when we were close, we were still so far apart. Where's the baby? How well you were on our wedding day. Too many secrets for one relationship to bear. But there were times where... I don't think I've ever been happier. 
No, no, me too. But like... Love. True love. I think that's what it was. Was. Leela told me what you said at the hospital. That it was destiny, a sign from God that we should be together. I think it was just seeing you in a hospital bed. I'd been in a crash. Ella had just died. Now I know how serious and strong you and Leela are. Yeah. And she's pregnant with your baby. Oh, gosh. So, yeah, uh, I don't know, you don't still think we should be together, then? Well, if God did want me and you together, we've got a funny way of showing it. All the obstacles he's put in our way. No, well, he did do it with a few others. I mean, there was Moses, Joseph, Ruth. <laughs> right, OK. He's seriously quoting the Bible at me now. Why not? Because that was our biggest roadblock. You and your vocation. Yeah, but I mean, I gave it all up, didn't I? For you. I know you did. I couldn't forget it, could I? I just kept feeling like I'd stopped you from going down the path you were always meant to take. What, really? <laughs> That's the last thing I wanted. Just want to be a good person. I was so bad to you, it even made you sick. Ooh, that wasn't you. That was the illness. Yeah, but come on, if I'd have just seen it, I'd have seen you properly, never would have happened. No, I never let you see me. Trust me, you did everything right. I'm the one who got it wrong again and again and again. Half the time, keeping secrets. Half the time, trying to make you jealous. And I even tried to kiss your dad for crying out loud. Yeah. It's only because I was messing with your head all the time. What is it they say? You always hurt the ones you love. We always find our way back together, though, don't we? I meant, like, here in this moment, together, not together. But you did mean like that. In the hospital. You said to Leela that me being with you was like fate. Yeah, I did. And now, you know me and Leela are together. We're about to have a baby. But still, me and you, that's destiny. Yeah. These past few years, I've not been here with you. But you've been here with me. Every day, every hour, going round and round in my head like a song I can't forget. Remembering you. Remembering the times, just us together. Just asking myself, why can't that happen again? Don't tell me you haven't asked yourself that question, do you? Or just thought, what if? What if? Because I have. What if? You could just kiss him again. Hold him again. Make love to him again. I think it all the time. I'm thinking it right now. So now, you know, if I said the words, you were the one that I wanted, you'd have me. In a heartbeat. 
I belong to you, Joe. It's like I was made for you. I'm yours. Always have been. Always will be. If you want me. Make sure you click here to watch full Hollyoaks episodes right here on YouTube or click here to catch up on all the drama in the village. And don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with everything Hollyoaks.